called Say My Mind and You Don't Die Giro as you receive and your is ears shaken. This is uh, the part 216, 260 in uh, the series Christ for Giving Us How to Manifest Immortality Season 2. And the name of this teaching is The Forgotten Song. Never forget the world the cyclists see must be imagined for what it really looks like is unknown to them. They must infer what could be seen from evidence forever indirect and reconstruct their interferences as they stumble and fall because of what they did not recognize or walk unharmed through open doorways that uh, they thought were closed. And so it is with you. You do not see. Your kills for inference are wrong and so you stumble and fall down upon the stones you did not recognize but fail to be aware you can go through the doors you thought were closed but which stand open before unseen eyes waiting to welcome you how foolish is to attempt to judge what would be seen instead it is not necessary to imagine what the world must look like it must be seen before you can recognize it for what it is you can be shown which doors, which doors are open and you can see where safety lies and which way leads to darkness, which to light. Judgment will always give you false directions, but vision shows you, shows you where to go. Why should you guess? There is no need to learn through pain and gentle lessons are acquired joyously and are remembered gladly. What gives you happiness you want to learn and not to forget. It is not this you deny. Your question is whether the means by which this course is learned will bring to you the joy it promises. If you believed it would, the learning of it would be no problem. You are not happy learning yet because you still uh, remain uncertain that vision gives you more than, than judgment does and you have learned that both you cannot have the blind become accustomed to the world by their adjustments to it. They think they know their way about in it. They learned it not through joyous lessons, but through the stained necessity of limits they believed they could not overcome. And still believing this, they hold these lessons dear and cling to them because they cannot see. They do not understand the lessons keep them blind. This they do not believe, and so they keep the gold they learned to see in their imagination, believing that, that their choice is this, is that or nothing. They hate the gold they learned through pain, and everything that uh, everything they think is in it serves to remind them that they are incomplete and bitterly deprived. Thus they define their life and where they live, adjusting to it as they think they must, afraid to lose the little that they have. And so it is with all who see the body as all they have and all their brothers have. They try to reach each other and they fail and fail again. And they adjust to loneliness, believing that to keep the body is to save the little that they have. Listen and try to think if you remember what we will speak of now. Listen, perhaps you catch a hint of an ancient state not quite forgotten. Dim perhaps, and yet not altogether unfamiliar, like, like a song whose name is long forgotten and the circumstances in which your heart completely unremembered. Whole song has stayed with you. But just a little wisp of melody attached to not to a person or a place or anything particular. But you remember from just this little part how lovely was the song, how wonderful the setting where you hearted, and how you loved those who were there and listened with you. The notes are nothing, yet you have kept them with you, not uh, for themselves, but as a soft reminder of what would make you weep of what would make you weep if you remembered how dear it was to you. You could remember, yet you are afraid, believing uh, you would lose the gold you learned since then. And yet, you know that nothing in this world, nothing in the world you learned is half so dear as this. 
listen and see if you remember an ancient song you knew so long ago and held more dear than any melody you taught yourself to chase since. Beyond the body, beyond the sun and stars, and past everything you see and yet somehow familiar, is an arc of golden light that stretches as you look into a great and shining circle. And all the circle fills with light before your eyes. The edges of the circle disappear, and what is in it is no longer contained at all. The light expands and covers everything, extending to infinity forever, forever signing, and with no break or limit anywhere. Within it, everything is joined in perfect continuity. Nor is it possible to imagine that anything could be outside, for there is nowhere that this light is not. This is the vision of the Son of God whom you know well. Here is the sight of him who knows his Father. Here is the memory of what you are, a part of this with, with all of it within, and joined to all as truly as all is joined in you. Accept, accept the vision that can show you this and not the body. You know the ancient song and know it well. Nothing will ever be as dear to you as is this ancient hymn of love the Son of God sings to his father still. And to now the blind can see, for that same song they sing in honor of their Creator gives praise to them as well. The blindness uh, that they made will not withstand the memory of this song, and they will look upon the vision of the Son of God remembering who he is they sing of. What is a miracle but this remembering? And who is they in whom this memory lies not? The light in one awakens it in all. And when you see it in your brother, you are remembering for everyone. 